Hi there everyone, it's the end of Monday uh, and the start of another lockdown week and I hope you did have a good start to your week. I really enjoyed our online Zoom Mill PM church service last night. It was really awesome just to see so many of your faces on my computer screen. I know that a number of you weren't able to join us in that uh, forum for one reason or another. I hope that you were still able to download the message and listen to it. And if you did do that, you would have heard that we're starting a new three-week series at Mill PM, which started yesterday, looking at our upward relationship with God, our inward relationship with each other, and our outward relationship to the world around us, the up, the in, and the out. I just want to very briefly in this message encourage you now to find a place in your home that you're in lockdown that can be a place of upward intimacy, a place of prayer, a place of prayer in your home. In Mark chapter 1 verse 35, it describes to us something about the life of Jesus' uh, prayer life. And it says that while it was still dark, Jesus got up early in the morning, went off to a desolate place and prayed. Now obviously we can't leave our homes and I enjoy going up to Newlands Forest to find a, a quiet place and a desolate place and a beautiful place to pray and connect with the Holy Spirit. But right now we can't do that. But we can find somewhere in our home and make that a place of prayer. In fact, I'm sitting on a couch here in our lounge, which for me and Lauren is one of the places that we use for quiet reflection and connecting with God. Our home is a beautiful home and it's a real blessing. But like many homes in Cape Town, it's quite a compact home. And right now, just to record this message, Lauren and the kids are, are locked away upstairs in one of the rooms. If Lauren was cooking right now, you'd be hearing all the pots and pans go. And if the kids were playing board games, you'd be hearing them. It's just quite hard sometimes to find a quiet place in our home. But early in the morning, before the kids have woken up, this lounge and this particular spot is just a beautiful place to be alone with the Holy Spirit. And I've actually prayed a number of prayers over the years in this very spot and seen wonderful breakthrough. Right now I'm praying for many of you in this very spot. Uh, there are ways that we can find quiet places to be alone with God, a place of prayer. I want to encourage you to find a place of prayer in your lockdown destination right now. A place that you can go to and in that place you immediately kick into a prayer gear. It was Jesus' habit to find a desolate place and pray. And I want to encourage you to try to find a desolate place in your lockdown space right now. A place that you can make your prayer zone. Priscilla Shy in War Room speaks about the prayer closet. Susanna Wesley, the mother of 10 children, the mother of John and Charles Wesley, the two great Methodist um, church leaders, uh, is described to take her apron, her, her cooking apron, and put it over her head as her 10 kids would run around her or play quietly as she, as she controlled them, no doubt. Uh, and she would pray. And that was, that was the way that she would get into a zone of prayer and, 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 and find a desolate place and, and blank out everything that's going on around her. I know some of you are in quiet homes at the moment, and so your home is very quiet at the moment. But even there, I would encourage you to find a particular spot. Find a place of prayer in your, in your lockdown place right now. Let it be a place that you walk into. And the moment you go into that place, you know you can kick into a, a gear of connecting with Jesus. I think it's really helpful to have a place of prayer. And I will encourage you to connect with Jesus. And one of the things that can help you do that is finding a place of prayer. Love you guys lots and hope you enjoy connecting with the Holy Spirit as you continue to seek Him.